Alright guys, this is going to be a real short quick blog video, and then I'm going to tell you how much the entire you need to attract a female into your life. And that's not as a girlfriend or wife or husband, or girlfriend, boyfriend, or subset dom, to just attract as a front. How to get female fronts. And yeah, they might, they might put you in the friend zone, but if, if, if you're better off, if you don't, if you don't have any, like a single female friend in your life, then you're better off being in the friend zone than not having any female in your life at all. Here's a lot of you guys out there incels or fucking introverts or fucking creeps or weirdos or whatever, that the only girls that are in your life are girls that you pay to talk to or pay to have sex with. So that's you, and you pay, and you, and the only girl you can have in your life is a girl that you have to pay like $20, 30 to just talk on the phone with, or you have to pay a girl just to have sex with you, and after that you have no female friends in your life besides your family, and it's really good for you. But first off, I got grandma fucking crap, I'm gonna switch it how I got it. And then we'll talk about the mentality you need to attract females. You're going to be one of my best videos, yeah. And this video will be free forever, so don't worry. Ah, uh, that's good. That's the middle. Okay. Okay, good enough. Here we go, guys. Let's fuck off, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. So yeah, first we'll talk about my video so far. So pretty much, yesterday while I was, while I was buying for the book that thing, I saw my dealer, who we'll call, um, Hefe Axe, or just Hefe or Boss. So he's like the boss of the block. Everybody works for him. So we'll call him Boss or Hefe, right? I saw Boss for Hefe, he stopped by me, and he asked me if I had his money. And I said, you know, my own, right? I said, yeah, I remember the hundred. I thought he did, I thought he owed him, cause it was so long ago, I talked to that. But yesterday he mentioned it. So pretty much today, I went over there to the block to see if I could, to, I was trying to be loyal and cop from my block instead of five block. And then from there, you know, he asked me how much I had. I told him I had 475. He took it. And then at first he said, oh, I sourced his money. But then when I took from there, I'm like, no, I'm sure, well, I'll give you today. I told him I'll need 91 cash and 250 food stamps, right? So, he said, oh, okay. He gave it to his wife, his main mom, or his wife, whatever. So he called the card and went and checked. She checked, she called everything, she checked. I gave her my pin and she verified it was true. So from there, he said, okay, we're taking, I'm taking, he told me, right, he told me, give me my EBT card. He said, he's taking all the cash and he wants all the food stamps. I was like, okay, no problem. So from there, he was like, oh, um, what do you want for the food stamps? I said, what do you mean? And he said, yeah, but I'm going to get the cash. I have one for the food stamps. I didn't ask for too much. I thought I could ask for way more, but like, um, a gram, is that okay? And he was like, yeah. So from there, he goes to scale, whatever, he took the crack, whatever, and, um, he gets his, he gives me a gram and a dime for it. I'm like, thank you, bro. He said, yeah. He told me pretty much tomorrow he's going to give me my EBC card back. That's my EBT. I need that. But yeah, so he told me pretty much he's going to take all the food stamps and the cash. So from there, yeah, he gave me a gram, so I'm good right now. I was going to do the payment on a drug dealer, but I'm going to pay on a drug dealer for five, six days, it's only 20 days, so whatever. Like I said, the way I make money through my fellow family, I have no problem paying debts. Like, even though it's a $100 debt now, I think, like, I could easily pay that in like five days. Or if you really want to quick, quick, I'll pay him in two days, three days, even two days. I mean, I could have paid, if I'm really doing want to, for real, for real, I could have paid that one day and just, and just do my little paneling for anywhere from six to eight or even nine or twelve hours straight, just staying in that spot, just collecting, 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 collecting. And yeah, before I know it, I will have at least anywhere from, for eight hours, I'll have more than a hundred. We need more than hundred and eight hours. We need more than hundred and eight hours. Cause there was a point where I was helping my former best slash slasher, he's a hair or whatever, and pretty much all I would do is basically I would make ten for him, and then during that time, I was only paying like eight as general. So I always his time first, and I make eight for myself. And literally, I did that like five times, and I got, and I got $50. So that means five times, 
Five times ten is fifty, and five times eight, let's see, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, twenty-four, thirty-two, um, forty. So that's five forty times two is fucking eighty. So that means a hundred. That means I made fifty dollars plus eighty dollars. So a hundred percent. So that means one hundred thirty dollars in those eight. In this is some, this is some hand handling for like, for in, in eight times, like five times, five to eight times. I don't even know how long that. I think I made ten dollars times. I think it was five times. So I mean, I mean, you know, fifty dollars and forty dollars. So that means in those five times, they're just working like a maybe a thirty to forty five minute shift for each time. Maybe an hour to most each time because those are only eighteen dollars. So maybe that's like in eight hours. If I'm on mine, I mean, fifty plus forty was ninety, and like fucking make six five to seven, six seven hours. I don't know what's in like seven hours. Cause I'll see more time smoking and come back down and shit. But yeah, so that's the doing thing, guys. So if that, even though I don't have a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars that I can easily pay that shit. If I really want to pay in one day, but I'd rather pay in three or, or five days. This means this means twenty a day. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much you know about my situation. So yeah, I have a whole ground crack right now. We're gonna smoke a half of right now, and then we'll take the other half when I go to sleep. So yeah, guys, this is the deal. So now I'm gonna see a nice big asset. I'm gonna see a real big hit right now, and I'm gonna tell you the mentality you need to attract. A female friend or or birth benefits or just no labels in your life. Cause before you can have a girlfriend or a wife or a sub or dom, or aka master and slave, or if you're a, if you want to become a pimp to fucking turn her out, you have to start off with friends and be really good friends first. So this video is sure everything you have to know in case even for guys that have zero experience, a woman that have never talked to a girl in high in middle school or high school in their lives. So that's how I was actually. The reason why I was so passionate about insults and insults and introverts is because I was exactly the same way. I was way worse. I do like like four girls in high school that hit on me, right? And then and I was I was so fucking shy and, and scared whatever that I was just saying I was in mumble like, oh okay. The master live in my mouth from down low, I would say, oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah, cool. They pretty much got the vibe that I didn't want to talk to them, so they started to talk to me. But what did I want to talk to them is that I thought they were really hot, and I was feeling terrified, and I didn't know what to say. And that's the whole thing, guys. I feel like most, not everybody goes through that, but like a good percentage of the male population goes through that. But the whole thing is, and that eventually when you get older, you have to put yourself out there, start going to bars and clubs, so that you can start talking to more women, and then learn about more of your game. Like, people, you want to know how I master game? I master game by mastering spiritual enlightenment. And that's people with God realization. If you become over a thousand, eight hundred, a thousand percent God realization, you're going to get all the ism, and you're going to master everything that there is to master in life. So that's what I recommend. You start meditating and mindfulness anywhere from five, five, ten minutes to thirty minutes to an hour a day, and you dedicate that, and you do that every day for an hour. Now you have to do one hour meditation, one hour of mindfulness. You could do like 20 minutes of meditation, then 20 minutes of mindfulness, then 20 minutes of meditation, then 20 minutes of mindfulness, and then 5 minutes of meditation, and 5 minutes of mindfulness. You do that every single day. I recommend you watch your my videos while you do it, or actually like the Oreo Guru's videos, or maybe Sock Guru's videos, or anybody that, um, you look up to, spiritual teachers, or whatever, or just anything. And you don't even have to watch spiritual videos while you mention mindfulness. Let's say you're into boxing, like I am now, you really just watch boxing videos, and just meditate to them, for, and then meditate to them, and then mindfulness. Or if you mean to decide to do meditation or mindfulness on its own, you gotta do both. But I was doing both because I love the feeling of meditation, I love the feeling of mindfulness, and I addict to it. So yeah. But the problem is though, if you go too deep into the spiritual path, you're gonna lose yourself and be really fucked up, and you're gonna be like crazy. Like, like you're not gonna be sane. You're gonna be, you're gonna be between sanity and insanity, you're gonna be, you're gonna try to sign sanity or insanity, but at the end of the day, do I is everything, do I is the world, do I is, is, is the, the other world. So if you're insane and insane and insane, you're gonna automatically be insane. And if you're gonna be good and evil, you're not gonna be evil. Cause it doesn't matter if you're good or evil. You're evil or all, then you're evil. If you're insane or all, then you're insane. Cause at the end of the day, you have to be able to do I is the truth. Yes, non duality means that not, not everything is one or whatever, but the whole, whole truth is, is that everything is not one, that everything is two. Everything is like, a uh, yin and yang. Quarter, two sides of a quarter. So that's what I'm saying. Like, once you master enlightenment, you have to perfectly realize how to utilize enlightenment, non duality, how to practice it, practice it, and you have to maybe really put yourself back into the state of duality so you can function in the world. Alright, so, yeah, this, I'm gonna end this video now. So this video is pretty much about, um, my vlog slash events guys. This is how to practice guys. Alright, peace guys, peace.